is a little survivor, and today we're going to be making tea out of two different kinds of evergreen trees. We're going to be doing the white pine and the eastern hemlock. Um, if you want to know how to identify, identify these evergreen trees, make sure you check out my video, how, how to identify evergreen trees. Um, the white pine has five times as many um, vitamin um, as vitamin C as a lemon and it also has some vitamin A and we're going to be grabbing um, a few handfuls of these now let's go to the hemlock tree and we're back with the eastern hemlock um, it also has vitamin C and I like to pick ones without oleogelgis which looks like um, little white spots um, we're just gonna pick some of these needles, a few hands full of these. I'm gonna include the health benefits of these, um, plants at the end of this video. And after we pick some of these, we're gonna make some tea. We're back and now we're gonna steep, steep it. Um, we have this fancy thing, which we're going to be um, using for our pine. We just chopped up, the, um, chopped it up a little, and we're just going to put it in this and put the water in it. Um, you don't want to boil it, the water. You want to boil it, but you don't want to put it in it in boiling water. Just fill this up and put on this lid and push it down and let that sit for ten minutes. Um, when we wait for that ten minutes, we're gonna also use. We don't have another one of these, so we're gonna use just this for um, steeping our hemlock. We're just going to put our hemlock inside of there and put like a lid or something on top and we're just going to let that sit for 10 minutes. And for medicinal purposes, you may want to boil it because it gets more of the medicinal use out of it, but it's going to taste bitter and it's not going to taste that well. But we're making tea, so we want the taste. Um, it's for taste. Now the sebum is done, um, this is a nifty gadget, as you can tell, we don't have to strain it because, see, it pushes all of it down and it doesn't go past this block thing, so, you can just take this and just leave that on, just push it down and just pour it right in just um, and for the hemlock tea, we're gonna have to strain it out. By using a strainer, and some clay just pouring it in. some hemlock tea and some pine, pine tea. 
that I'm going to try and see how it goes. Okay, first, um, we're gonna start with the hemlock tea. It doesn't really taste like much. It kind of just tastes like hot water with a little bit of hemlock. And if you don't strain it out all the way with a strainer, it's okay. Because it's 100% edible anyway. So if some needles are still in there, it's okay. Let's try the pine tea. Um, the pine tea has more flavor. Um, it's still, still kind of tastes like hot water, but it has more flavor, so I like the pine tea better than the hemlock tea. This is a little survivor, signing off.